Hi and welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here welcome my name's Simone Today I'm doing another haul, this time it's a Tesco haul I'm hoping it's going to last me for more than a week because it's Friday the, I don't know, it's the 18th So we wouldn't be able to go shopping next Friday so I've tried to get extra things But I've got everything from Tesco and I think I've mentioned this before I find it harder sometimes to plan out um, my meals when I go there And I had the kids with me as well, I'll put like a little picture here They was doing the scanning and everything so what I decided to do this week is I've put all of fruits and vegetables here, all wheat and like potato type products here and then I've got my plant based section and then I've got meats and meal deals and nappies and other things over there. So I'm going to start on, all, I'm going to start over this side. If I'll put timestamps, so if you're here to check out what we've been having for our meals, then you'll be able to jump over to that. It will be at the end of this video. So, I've got a load of dairy-free milks. These coconut drinks were only one pound, and these almond ones was a pound as well. And then these were one pound six for the oat ones. So I'm going to use these for tea and coffees because I don't like these um, in drinks. But we'll be having these with porridge and these oat bakes. So I've got loads of porridge last, from last week's haul. Um, I've got a playlist with hauls if you're new here and you want to check them out. I got two of these soda waters to have with some um, lemon um, for me and the kids will probably have some of this as well and I've got them with Imto but I'll, I don't know where I've put that, I'll show you in a minute. Then Neva chose these plums. We've got baby spinach and kale i couldn't believe the offers they had on i think these carrots were only 19p which is probably like 25 cents and the potatoes these were 29p all round the potatoes i don't know if they're going to be as good as the king edwards but for 29p what a bargain so again that's probably like 35 cents for my american friends and then i got these two broccolis We've got two packs of ripe, ripe, they've already ripe, I can't get my words out, avocados because the kids love them. We've got two pack of salad tomatoes. I think these cucumbers were only about 29p as well, so they are cheaper than at Marks and Spencers. Um, and then I've got these apples, um, neighbor chose two packs of them, they were really cheap, they were less than a pound for six. So yeah, they're probably about a dollar they were for six apples. And then I've got two packs of um, peppers. These was less than a pound as well. So you've got three red in there and a green and a yellow. And then I've got another one because we always have peppers for lunch and dinners. Another thing as well is usually I would get my main shop from Marks and Spencer's. So if you're here for that, I do have load in the, in the whole um, playlist. And then I've got these lemons. We've got celery and then I've got these spring onions. I've got a cauliflower and I've got red onions. So this is all the fresh produce that we've got. Then we've got these wraps. The kids really enjoy it when Ryan makes the kids wraps for lunch. I've got, this bread was only, I think, 30p like 35 cent or something like that whole meal so these will go in the freezer so i've got this one and then i've got another whole meal toasty for when the kids have toast i've got jam left still so i didn't buy any this week and then i've got a pack of six crumpets i think they're only about 25p or 30 cent we've got these potato cakes these are accidentally vegan i think they've not got any um dairy or anything on the back so i got three packs of them i think they were about 75p each these garlic breads, Ryan loves them, these sunblush tomato and garlic flatbreads and there's a cheese and garlic one there as well for them for when they have spaghetti bolognese. And then I've got two packs of spaghetti um, because I've got two packs of mince because like I said I want to make these meals stretch so you might see duplicate meals at the end because like like I said, I want to try and make it stretch to the following week in case on, in case all the shops aren't open. I bought this brown sourdough bloomer for me. So I'm going to slice this up and then put it in the freezer because it says it's best before the 19th, which is tomorrow, I think. This was £1.58. And I like it because it's only got water, wheat flour, wholemeal wheat, salt, malted barley. That's it. There's not any other ingredients in that. And then I got, I got this as well, I've never seen this before. It's a fruited sourdough bread, baked with a blend of raisins, mixed citrus peel and warming spices. So, so it reminds me of, you know like when you have a tea, a tea cake? So I thought that would be really nice. 
Then Caleb chose these. These are potato lattice. Um, so I thought maybe that we could have these um, for lunch if we're not making um, like homemade hash browns. This is um, accidentally vegan as well. This is a strudel cooking the oven for 40 minutes. Berry strudel. I've had the apple one before and it was really nice. I bought this spelt flour because I want to try and make a spelt loaf and I wouldn't mind trying to make some sort of southern fried crumb for, where is it, for these king oyster mushrooms. I buy mushrooms with the plan of making them into something like southern fried but then I don't end up doing it but I'm going to try this week and these look really like chunky so yeah. Hopefully at the end of the video you'll see that I've made something with them. I do have some sausages left from last week but I picked up another pack. These bacon pieces, I didn't do a review last week but I am going to hopefully do a review on them. They're really, really nice these. And then I got another organic vegetable stock um, to put in my homemade baked beans and if I'm making any soups. I got this vegan coronation, coronation is it? Yeah, coronation. Why am I struggling to say it is combination, isn't it? Um, condensed milk alternative. So I was thinking about maybe, actually I don't have the cereal for it. Jay from my type of organised made like a millionaire crunch. Oh, it looked absolutely amazing and Kayla really liked it. So I was thinking about maybe making something like that, but I need to get some cereal for that. Um, but I think this would be nice poured on that strudel as well, wouldn't it? So I'll have a think anyway. Um, about maybe making some vegan millionaire shortbread. I'm still waiting on my moulds to make the chocolate bomb. They've not arrived yet. Um, I got this vegan plant mayo. I hope that it's going to be as nice as the one from Marks and Spencer's. So yeah, give that a go. Um, and then I got these bean sprouts because I want to make a fake away um, Chinese again. And then I got these coconut milks um, for curries and also for making like... Um, uh, like a, I don't know whether I'm going to make, make like a milkshake or something like that. I used to do that before and it was really nice but you'll see at the end of what I do with these. I've got this red Thai curry paste. Um, I want to make a vegetarian um, Thai curry. And then I've got this as well, a cracking coconut korma kit. So I usually make curries myself from scratch. But I saw this, I think it was £2.50, so less than $3. I liked all these nice little spices that they've got in. So I'm going to give this a go, put some carrots, chickpeas and some other things in. If I don't get round to doing something with these, I might just slice them up and put it in. But again, I'll keep you posted. We've got this vegan whipped cream for hot chocolates. And then I was running a bit short on popcorn, so I got this bag. I think it was only £1 something. And literally... You don't need a lot in your pan. Sorry, Mike is just screaming in there. Heat three tablespoons of corn oil in a large pan. Sprinkle half a cup of popcorn on the bottom and that will make a lot. So yeah, we really like homemade popcorn. And then I've got the Vimto and then I've got this walnut oil for cooking. Apparently it's high in omega-3s. I want to start maybe making some videos on food um, items and the benefits and things like that. I just love learning about nutrition. We've got a hummus and then I've got a mango chutney for the lentil curry that I'll be making and also to serve with that. I got these. I need to do a review on them. They're really, really nice. We had them the other day and the kids really enjoyed them. I couldn't believe that it wasn't chicken. The southern fried crumb thing on it is really nice. I've got a sunflower um, a vegan spread. And then I saw these um, bubble and squeak. Do any of my American friends, do you have something called bubble and squeak? Do you make this? Um, so this is a mix of lightly seasoned potato, carrot and cabbage and onions. I thought they would be nice for like lunch or with a main meal. And then dairy items and um, eggs. We've got some butter, neighbour's favourite butter which is from the island. Then we've got a mature cheddar to make the kids some sandwiches and to put on spaghetti bolognese. And then these eggs were reduced from £1.40 to 92p and they've got more than a week left on them so I've got five packs of them. I've got a tomato sauce. I don't know if I said that I've got olives. If, you're, if you've been here before you'll know that Ryan, neighbour and my kid go through olives so much they'll probably eat that in a, in a week, less than a week. 
I've got three packs of wipes. I really like the wipes from there. They're biodegradable. And then I've got these nappies from Micah. And then the, the sausages, the family really enjoyed them last week. So like I said, because I'm trying to make the meal stretch, I've bought two packs so then they can have um, one pack one day and then another. And the date on it is next Saturday. So they're freezable, I think, as well. And they're gluten free. Now this is a meal deal. I can't believe that I've done this again. If you was here a few weeks ago, you'll know that I missed out on the meal deal. This, they've got so much to choose from now. They've got curries, onion rings, chicken, oh, so many different types of offer, like meal deals for £10. So I've got this caramel cheesecake and then the kids wanted this beef burger. It's got cheese slices and oh no, has it got, yeah, cheese slices um, and then it's got like a crumb in there but they won't be using that, they'll just be using the um, the cheese and the burger sauce um, and then we've got, um, oh yeah, and then the Cajun wedges and then this is a half a piri piri chicken which serves two so Ryan's going to have that with Micah um, but I should have got another size, I was not thinking, I can't believe two times I've done this so all of that came to £16 but if I'd have got another side it would have come to £10 so I'm really going to have to think properly next time when I go in I can't believe that I missed out on that offer again Ryan was like don't worry about it it's fine um, and then I got this chicken which will be served over two days and then I've got two packs of steak mince 5% fat so um, I, put, I think Ryan will probably make a spaghetti bolognese one day and then with the other one it'll either be spaghetti bolognese or he'll make like a mince curry and then I got these four breaded cod, Caleb chose these, he really likes having cod and then I've just got the toilet roll here, nine toilet rolls and then I got this kitchen foil, I found that cheap um, in there, I can't remember how much it was, I think it was only one pound something I've still got some oranges left and I've got loads of frozen fruit left um, and like I'm saying I've got loads of porridge as well so and some tin stuff like chickpeas and beans and things like that. So I didn't need to buy them. So I spent a hundred and let me just check. Um, 137. So if I had put that meal thing in, it would have only been 131 pound. If I can stretch this to 10 days, I will be really happy. But obviously you'll see that at the end of this video. So we've got porridge oats with almond milk and there's cherries and mango in there and then I've topped it with this like super berry topper that I got a few weeks ago, an organic one, it's starting to steam up now. So all I did with the fruits, I just cooked it up in a pan with a little bit of water, tastes so nice, um, just, I don't know, it just tastes better than when, um, like mixing it up with the porridge when it's on top and the kids really like it. So today I have used this spelt flour and I've made a big massive stack of spelt pancakes. So I just use spelt flour, um, oat milk and that cracked, I think it's called cracked, like an egg replacement but even without that these would be nice. Um, and then I've got some cooked cherries and mangoes. Um, yeah it's looking a bit messy but it's going to be so nice and then I've just got some of this on top the super berries so that's a really big pancake stack isn't it um yeah so the sweetness from the um from the mangoes and the cherries these are sweet pitted frozen cherries from tesco you don't really need to um put any maple syrup on or anything because they are really really sweet so i want to cut in and show you what it's like and that's what the left inside really really nice this is the porridge that Ryan's made, got chia seeds, um, mixed berries cooked and the porridge underneath, um, really really nice. Do you like that maker? I've had to put some music on from Epidemic Sound so that I don't get copyrighted. So I hope you can hear me. He wants to keep me company and listen to music. So um, I've got celery, peppers, courgettes, onions in here, which I'm sweating down. And then Caleb's just opened a tin of tomatoes for me. So I'm going to make that. Um, so I'm not going to use the beans today. Then I've got eggs for the family. I don't know if I'm going to have tofu or not, but I've got some veggie sausages that I want. And then I've got these potato cakes. So this is what we're going to be having for lunch. And then I've got the bread here to make some toast. Sorry. <laughs> so don't wind him up, neighbour. So I'm going to, um, I'll show you all this in a bit anyway. 
Okay, so this is what I've made for Ryan. Um, so there's the tomatoes and everything. The toast, some fried eggs, the... It's like steaming hot, so that's why it's like hard for me to be able to film it. Some avocados, fried eggs, and then there is the potato cake there as well. So the toast is a little bit well done, um, but I'm sure he's going to like this. I've got the veggies that I've cooked up, two slices of toast, the meat-free Richmond sausages, and then I've got um, a potato cake here. I really don't like avocados. I'll need to maybe try and mix them with something to try to make it more palatable. Do you like avocados? So yeah, this is what I I'm having for my lunch. Do you like avos? I don't. Yeah, <laughs> Mike is the same yeah. likes avos. Loves Cool and the Gang when he's listening to Fresh. I really love that band, so I'm so glad he likes it. You've got tomato all over your face. Do you like Cool and the Gang, Caleb, yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you like my um, neighbor? Lunch for today for the kids it's avocado, fried eggs, homemade baked beans with kale, and there's some um, potatoes underneath there as well, and English muffin. And this is mine, so I've got the English muffins, the homemade baked beans, the potatoes, and the veggie sausages. Okay, so today is sourdough bread from the local bakery, and then we've got scrambled eggs, mushrooms veggie sausage, tomatoes and kale for Ryan and the kids are having the same. To show you what I've made for lunch because Mike is stood here and he's so excited to eat so this I've is got good. A yeah you've got avo haven't you? Oh uh, I bought. Yep. So um, uh, veggie sausages, um, avocado, scrambled egg with um, spring onions cooked in it, these potato lattice, cooked peppers, spinach and tomatoes and then we've got some um, super green bread I think it's called. Is that nice Micah? Oh. Yeah and then this is little Micah's here it's just steaming oh. up. I forgot I've got oh. some little bacon pieces oh. that I'm going to put on and I'm also going to sprinkle on um, some sunflower seeds and some, I've got some other seeds as well, I can't remember what they are but yeah, so this is lunch for today, you're putting them on? Today is a cheese sandwich for Caleb and he's got tomato soup and Neva's having the same as well. Hi! Ryan's made meat free sausages, spinach, different veggies and mushrooms and whole grain toast for me and then this is Neva's omelette, she's got the same veg and toast and he's just dishing up the rest so this is what's for lunch today. This is mine which is wholemeal toast and the bubble and bubble and squeak ground things from Tesco. Um, meat free Richmond sausages, peppers, tomatoes, sweet corn and then some lettuce, oh no I think spinach leaves and beetroot, sorry about all the noise. Then this is Ryan's, he's got toast two fried eggs, avocado, and then everything else that I've got, but he's not got veggie sausages. The kids are having the same as Ryan. I've just been surprised with this. Ryan with his beautiful presentation. So, this is all the food dished up. And I, I think that, is mine on the end, Ryan? Which one's mine, is mine on the end? Yeah, I thought it was because the sausages are a little bit lighter. So yeah, this is mine. So he's made like a nice little portion of chips, smart sauce, the veg, and the sausages. How nice is that, Micah? Nice. Oh, I love that. So for dinner, Ryan's made this. No, we're not putting any spices in, Micah. Nope. He's wanting to put that in. Um, and no pepper. Thank you. Nah. -uh. Um. So there's carrots. No, he's, now he's getting the salt. No, 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 just leave it, baby. Mm -hmm. So, carrots, Mom. beef steak mince, spinach, peppers, red mm -hmm. onions, mm -hmm. kale, yeah. courgettes, um, yeah, so, and tomatoes, um, and tomato puree. Mm -hmm. So, this is a spaghetti bolognese, mm -hmm. and it's going to be served with um, spaghetti, mm -hmm. and he's made, and uh, not made. Mm -hmm. We're putting this um, some blushed tomato and garlic bread in as well. No, you so I'll show you what it looks like when it's dished up. Got some cooked vegetables here from before. Um, what Ryan made for his lunch. So what I'm going to do is I've got a tin of chickpeas here. I've drained it but I didn't drain it very well. 
I'm going to add some coconut aminos um, and then I'm just going to get a spoon and mix it all up and then I'm going to add a bit of this pimp my salad hemp palm cheese so I got this from got this from Holland and Barrett's but if I can find it on Amazon I will link that down below for you to check out it's really nice um, got a nice fl flavor in there um, so yeah and I'll also link this as well this coconut aminos I'm gonna have to make Remember. this quick because there's music on in the background I don't want to be copyrighted so there's kale the roasted vegetables the chickpeas which Mike is making and then um, some carrots that are roasted in the oven so this is my dinner for tonight so this is just a quick um, dinner um, we've got the vegan southern fried chicken strips veg rinds cooked up some um, kale and peppers and other veg and then there's fries I was gonna do this korma kit um, with some tofu I've got smoked tofu baking in the oven a little bit so I didn't want it really soggy but instead I'm just gonna make my own kind of curry I've got some korma paste left and I made a smoothie the other day and I've got some coconut milk left it's gone all that hard like the creamy bit because it's been in the fridge and then I've got pepper and I've got some cauliflower so I'm going to make a curry with that instead and get an onion out. Okay so what I'm doing is I've got my um, onions, cauliflower, peppers, um, I'm dry frying it, I've not put any oil in. I'm going to cook it for five minutes, just one minute neighbor. cook that for five minutes and on this jar it shows you like a chicken korma recipe but obviously I'm doing tofu. So um, yeah, that's they're really good these korma um, paste things from Marks and Spencers if you're ever in there. They've got all different types of ones like Spanish, um, like um, not a Bourguignon one. I've showed it on one of my videos before but they've got really nice jars to choose from all with natural ingredients as well and they're all about £2. So um, this korma one's really nice so I'm going to cook these up get the sauce sorted and then put the tofu in so I'll show you that in a little minute so the paste is in now I'm sorry about all the noise in the background but I've put a wildlife thing on for Michael while I'm cooking so this is really steaming up now you can even put in 50 grams of almond it says and one pack of fresh coriander coriander? coriander? <laughs> coriander optional garnish and rice to serve so yeah, that's looking really nice. I'm just going to put my coconut cream now. So that will melt down. And then I'm just going to leave this to simmer. I, I like it cooking for a good while. Um, so, and my, ca my cauliflower isn't soft. So I'm probably going to cook this for 15 minutes and put the tofu in and then cook it for another 15-20 minutes until my rice is done. So I'm going to put my rice on um, in about 10 minutes I would say. So yeah, it's looking nice already isn't it? Okay, so I've got my tofu. Sorry, it's very loud to get in here. I'm watching um, Jay from My Type of Organised on my laptop while I do this. Micah has gone, he's, he's busy here trying to get the vegan cream. We can't have that right now, Micah. Not now, not now, come on. So this is nice and crispy, not burnt, feeling kind of firm. Some of them are a little bit crispy, but that's how I like it. So I'm gonna put these in here. Well, and then I'm gonna cook my rice. No, we're not having that now, okay can't have that now. He really liked it on the um, mince pie yesterday. Oh, you like the sound, do you? Yeah, the sound. Listen. I'm going to make you a hot chocolate later. We're going to have some dinner. Yeah, dinner first. So I'm just going to leave this now to cook for another 10, 15 minutes. Get my rice on. Okay, so this is Neighbours. So she's got olives on hers, and this is Ryan's. He absolutely loves rice. So the rice has come out well. And the curry looks really nice. I'm really sorry, but Ryan's just hooving in the background. Every time I'm filming, there's just noise, isn't there? So I've got to apologise. But this sauce is absolutely amazing, and there is some chutney on the side. Oh, I forgot to put some. I thought no, I'm going to put some olives on Ryan's now as well. So this is Neighbours. We're having the same. So she's got some rice salad. 
um, a tortilla wrap with vegan bird's eye chicken strips inside the southern fry. He's making some burritos as well. Here is the sweet corn, broccoli, peppers, onions, tomatoes that he's put into the wraps. They are the vegan um, chicken strips. They're made. Did I say they're made out of pea protein? Because I've tried to film this a few times. There's fries to do the rest of the dinners because Ryan is cooked this piri piri chicken, and him, Ryan, and Mike is going to be having that, and me and Neva having the beef strips because she doesn't want to have any chicken. So yeah, that's what we're having for dinner tonight. So Ryan's will end up looking the same as ours, but obviously with the piri piri chicken in it. So this is what um, the wrap looks like inside of Neva's and he's just going to put some fries on. It's a bit random, there's courgettes, celery, onions, tomatoes, sweet corn, grated carrot, some beef sausages, this is Ryan's, and then some wedges. This is Caleb's. These burgers, I was just saying to Ryan, they've shrunk loads and they're like, um, I don't know. This did this quarter pounders, but it looks small. And then just some fries, and then I've given him the courgettes and the sweet corn and everything. And the mine is random. I've just finished off these um, vegan sausage rolls, and I've got the veg and the wedges. You can have that. Um, yeah. So I'm making lentil dal. Now this might not be the proper way to make it, but this is how I like to make it. Really quick, and you love it, don't you? I've got like a tablespoon of coconut oil in there. Are you eating onions? And then I've just got, I usually use red onions, but I don't have any left. It's Thursday, we're going shopping tomorrow. So I've just got chopped onion. And then I have washed um, some red lentils. I just guess the amount, um, like I don't measure. Um, <laughs> If you want like a proper recipe then please let me know but I never, I, I very rarely follow recipes and I just just go with it. Um, I, would you be able to do me a favour and um, get me 5 mils of water and one of those stock cubes thanks. So Ryan's just going to get me 500 mils of um, water with a stock cube. Um, I'm browning the onions. I'm just going to use mild curry powder because the kids don't like it super spicy. I put in about a tablespoon worth of curry or maybe a little bit more. Again, it's all down to your individual taste. Yeah, you can boil the water first, thanks. Ryan's just going to boil it first so then it doesn't cool everything down. Then I just like to cook. Oh, 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 don't eat the spices. I just like to coat all the onions with the curry powder. I'm just gonna put a little bit more in. Um, I've got some coconut cream as well that I was thinking about putting in, but red lentils are quite creamy anyway, I would say. And with? And then with lentils, um, it says on the pack, and this is what I usually do anyway, um, on these ones, or, um, I'm just having a look. On that. Where is it gone now? I think you boil it for 10 minutes. Let's have a look here. No need to soak. Rinse thoroughly. Place 100 grams of lentils into a large saucepan with 500 mils of water. Place the pan on a medium hob ring over a high heat. Rinse the bowl for 10 minutes. Reduce the heat and fill on until 15 minutes. So yeah. So once this water's boiled, I put the lentils in. Let it boil. And then I've got just a little over... Um, half a tin of chopped tomatoes here. You don't have to put these in, but again, I really like these. And then I'm gonna serve it with um, this rice today. This is a slightly sweet, sticky finish, it says. So, don't think we've ever, have we used jasmine rice before, Ryan? It's not, is it, what do we usually use, the rice? We've got jasmine, but what do we usually use? Is it jasmine rice we usually use? Yeah, or easy long grain, grain rice. Careful. So yeah, um, it's just boiled now. So can I just add that pan with the water in? In the in that. Daddy. So just putting this water in. I might what? What? might need a bit more actually. Just um, either. So this this one is um what I got from Boots and it's organic and I don't think they've got any salt in and um, it's gluten free, very low salt that's it um, not beef, no not that beef, beef fox salt, oh it's horrible that um, so I'm just going to put 
Um, well, there's only half in there, so you could you put that one in. Can you just give me some more water, actually? Because I've definitely got more than 100 grams of lentils there, so I'll, um, I'm gonna. I'd rather have more water than um, not enough at this stage, because these lentils they do soak up a lot of water. From this 400 to this right, 900. Yeah, because I have got more than I've put loads of lentils in there because Mom. Ryan will have some dinner now before he goes to work, and then he'll have a little bit when he gets back. So he's loving eating the coconut oil, aren't you, cheeky chops? So I'm just going to leave this now to boil for 10 minutes and then I'll turn it down and then I'll put the tomatoes in and then literally it's just leaving it to cook. That's why I love lentils so much, they're just really simple. And then the rice, it's going to take 20 minutes so I'm going to rinse this and put the rice on in a minute as well. So it's been boiling now for about 10 minutes so you can see that it's gone, you know, it's quite soft. We had some easy cook rice left, so I've just decided to use that instead. So I'm just going to put the lid on my rice and um, turn that down to cook now for 15 minutes. Uh, but with this, I'm going to turn it down to a low. Uh, <laughs> these two, <laughs> Ryan and uh, Micah, um, playing here in the background. So I'm just going to add my tomatoes. And then I'm going to put the lid on. Actually, I don't need a lid, do I? Because it'll thicken it up. I'm just going to leave it like this. Cook for another 15 minutes. So it'll be re ready when the rice is ready. Um, I like adding the tomatoes because it adds a more vibrant colour. Sometimes I put in a bit of sun-dried, not sun-dried tomatoes, tomato paste as well, don't I? What are you doing, Micah? What's Daddy doing? <laughs> So yeah, this is one of your favourite salt lentils, isn't it? You love it. If Ryan's getting peckish, she's like, can you not just make me a pan of lentils? I never used to like them, really. Um, but my mum, she really, really loves lentils. But the kids like them, but Caleb just likes it like this. He doesn't like, he doesn't, he's not really into rice that much. He'll eat it, but he'd prefer just to have the lentils on its own. So that's why I've made a big pan today. So I'm going to leave that now. The food is all done now. It's like thickened up a lot and it's more like an orange colour. Um, and then my rice, yeah, it looks like it's fine as well. I would usually put like salad and things like this with it, but we've run out of salad, like I said, because it's Friday tomorrow, so we'll be going shopping then. There's Caleb's, he's just having a bowl of lentils. Uh, this is mine. It doesn't look um, as posh as how Ryan dishes it up. But it is really, really delicious. And Mike is just in the dining room. He's already tucking in. How's your lentil? I know, num, num. Yeah, is, yeah, is Caleb num. having lentils as well? Yeah. Is it nice? Are you enjoying it, Nina? Daddy, num num. Daddy's having num nums, yeah. Is that nice? <coughs> Don't take his water. He wouldn't like it. Is that nice, Micah? Yeah. You've got your water. I'm no. telling you, no. <laughs> Mm. So this is just a crumpet with some apricot jam that Ryan's having, so this is one of the snacks. So just the churros again, there's um, cinnamon, sugar and then it's got hazelnut inside and they're really really nice. It's got this Oatly drink, so we've got the hot chocolate here. And then put the vegan whipped cream no. on. And then neighbour said she wanted one pink no. and two white marshmallows. So there we go. No. Okay, Mike, you can have yours now. This is uh, the strudel that we're having. So this is vegan with the whipped cream. Bye. And then Ryan's having the leftover cheesecake. Well done, Micah. Are you filling everything up? Michael, can you fill this one up? No, don't squish it, Ava. Oh, he's doing a good job, isn't he? These are all of them ready to go in the oven now. So this one on the end came out a bit funny, but these are all of the um, little mince pies done, so we're excited about trying these later. And Ava? I've got cream and this lovely mince pie. And it says a net on it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You did a really good job cooking I these, did, I just ate some of the net. Yeah? Does it taste nice? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, this is so nice. The pastry is really crispy and the vegan cream goes lovely with it. So yeah, so today we are having vegan mince pies after lunch. I don't know whether I will, I think I will have made the video by the time this comes out. My mum sent a huge box of like goodies. She sent me all of these vegan chocolates which I need to do a review on, these galaxy ones. And then she sent loads of other stuff. So we've just come out in from having a little walk. And the kids are gonna have some chocolate. I'm making a hot chocolate. Um, yeah, have you found that one? Um, yeah, so. This is what one of the snacks is going to be um, today, isn't it? I just made some popcorn and this, I, I ended up putting too much sugar in, but actually it's made it really like crunchy and caramelised. Um, I really wanted to show you how I did it because in one of my last videos, um, some people were saying that um, they'd be so worried about burning it, but it, it, it is, sometimes you do end up no. burning it, but... No. No, oh, it's no. so amazing, and you can't beat that warmness. It's really like a cinema taste, and if the cinema shut where no, you are, no, this is the closest no, thing that's here no, with how no. warm it is. Are you gonna have some, Micah? No. So yeah, this is a snack for tonight with a movie. So all the snacks and desserts are fruit salad that Neva likes making, and then they've had the rest of the fruit as well. And then there's the sourdough fruit toast with jam on. And then I made a smoothie, which you'll see in a minute, which doesn't look very appealing, but it tastes really nice. Um, so these are all the meals and everything for the week. I really hope that you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would really love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye.